Streamers awards for people who are washed and for shoving unknown streamers down your throat. If anything, they give awards to the same people. Yeah, because the same people are the popular people. Everything just goes to the popular people. Ooh. How's the mac and cheese? Oh my God. Let's talk about everything. Anyways, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome to YouTube.com slash C-O-O-K-S-U-X. I'm Andy, aka Cook Sucks. I'm supposed to be doing major content, but right now I'm doing my streamer awards recap. Who determines the selection of nominations? I don't know anything. I'm just going to tell you what I do know. One, I did not get invited to go to two, uh, 2021 streamer awards. I think for the most part, no one's just aware of me. I'm just a small streamer. It's not a it's not a thing. So time goes on and I'm like, ooh, streamer awards 2022. I'm like, all right, you know what? I'm not invited. I don't think I'm going to. But you know what? Wouldn't it be hilarious if someone like me gets nominated and win? I know the reality. I don't really care about the ecosystem of twitch or also streamers in general because you know i've worked in film and television my friends are celebrities so i was like why don't we just try it'd be fun but i never really pushed for it so i'm like hey you know what i'm not invited i'm not probably not gonna be nominated i'm not anything not invited i don't care turns out that day when I was in Vietnam, it's like, oh, you know, what? I'm going to look at my Twitter because I see the notifications of Cutie Cinderella DM. And I'm like, what? Why the f is Cutie Cinderella DMing me? I don't even, how, does she even know me? This is the DM. <clears throat> hey, I know we have never met, but just want to say if you wanted to make the journey to LA and come to the streamer awards, I've got a seat with your name on it. But it's a long journey, so I understand if you don't want to fly. So I go, hey, cutie, I'll be returning back to my place in K-Town sometime next week. Maybe it's possible. And I go, also pleasure to meet you, right? She did say, and sorry is such late notice. I get bad social anxiety reaching out to people I haven't met before. So I was like, that's so cute. That's so adorable. And you know what? If I'm already in town and you went through the trouble to invite me, I'm going to go. Because I'm going to tell you, next year, when I do get nominated for IRL Streamer of the Year 2023 and win, I want to make sure that Cutie remembers that I showed up and I didn't say no. They're like, hey, welcome back. Hey, you know what? Maybe the fan vote voted for four people. There's a fifth nominee and that's a panel vote. What if they're like, hey, you know, you know who's cool? Maybe cook. Maybe we should put cook in there. And then the nomination come on. Nominees for IRL Streamer of the Year. Jacob Bake Live, JTTY, Rob CD, Extra Emily, Cook Sucks. I, I don't know. It's, 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 point is, there's nothing wrong with saying yes and going. So Jake and I are supposed to go buy suits. That morning, Mr. Jake and Bake is like, hey, I got to go to the emergency room. He's been sick for two weeks. And I'm like, okay, yeah, yeah, you got to go. You got to go. And he's like, the doctor wants me to kind of take it easy and take these meds and get some rest. I'm like, hey, you know what? It's not a big deal. Health is wealth. Next day, Charming Joe and I meet up. Jake and Bake live. Hey, Jake, when are we going to meet up? I got a lunch. See you, Andy. And we don't actually get to shopping until like 5 p.m. And I'm like, F we only have two hours before men's warehouse closes. We gotta go. So we go there. Jake finds a tux. Looks awesome. They don't have tux my size. I thought that was like my backup plan. But I was like, you know what? If worse comes to worse, I have a slick black suit inside my closet. I'm going to the streamer awards tomorrow and I couldn't find a suit worst case scenario i haven't worn these suits in about four years they gotta still fit me right I got, I got some suits i got some suits so i get home i grab the black suit and i go you know what i'm gonna go black on black on black on black the shirt was just holding up for dear life it's like <sighs> come on <sighs> i look like a butler or like a cheap ass bartender right now, okay? This is not the look. It's not because I'm fat. I'm not gonna go show up to this streamer awards where there's millionaires wearing Dolce and Gabbana and I'm wearing this suit that I got from Saks Fifth Avenue off the rack. Like who knows, what if there's some hot streamer chick that I'm just like, damn, I wanna get, I wanna get there. Maybe I could just go funky. So I'm thinking in my brain, what what in my wardrobe? Okay, I got the shirt that I got from Indonesia. How would I just embrace culture? Just go like this. With this shirt on, 
You know? People are gonna be like, what the f are you wearing? I'm like, hey, are you insulting my culture? This shirt is from Indonesia. This is from my mother country, from Korea. Are you saying you got a problem? And I look on the ground and I'm like, oh, grandma pants. But I got like a little bit nicer grandma pants. So I put it on and I'm like, hey, I look like a funky clown, whatever. Yeah, I, I, this is how I, I ended up. Oh my God. How about, how about this? I keep it loosey goosey, loosey goosey. I think it's the move. Keep it open like this, do my hair. Yeah. You know, that whole day, I was just watching streams. I was just chilling. I didn't want to go early. And then, you know, it's like 2.45. I'm like, oh, shit. Okay, maybe I should shower now. So I jump in the shower, call my Uber. I'm like, Jake, where the hell are you? Are you getting ready? No response. I get to the venue, and I'm waiting there because I'm like, you know what? Maybe Jake and I can walk down together. And then he text messaged me, and he's like, yo, I'm running late. <laughs> and I'm like, I don't want to stand around here doing whatever. So I'm like, let me go sign in at least. So I go to the sign-in table, and let me tell you something. Cook sucks. Arrive. 355. Red carpet interview with Squeaks. Find your seat. I was talking to Fan Fan. I was like, I don't really know if I even want an interview because I think that's weird. Fan Fan was like, just do it, blah, blah, blah. I'm like, ah, So I'm like, I'm next. So, you know, I get put into the front. Squeaks is like, hey, what's up, Cook? And I'm like, what's up, man? He's like, hey, I'm a huge fan. I'm like, you're not, shut up. You don't, you know. I was watching you when you were in Japan and in Taiwan and blah, blah, blah. And I was just like, are you serious? Yeah, I'm here with Cook Sucks, world-renowned IRL streamer. Okay. I mean, yeah. I'm so happy to have you yeah. here. Uh, what song did you listen to to get ready uh, for the event today? Aha's Take On Me. That's my song of choice all the time. That's my favorite song in the world. I listen to that every day almost. That's an honest truth. Then he goes, As an IRL streamer, I'm sure you've seen so much stuff. You've traveled all over. Yeah. What is a memorable travel moment that you experienced on stream in the past year? Oh. It's like, I'm like, interview. it's like a test. God. My brain just went, oh, What was a good memory? I was like, ah, uh, yeah, I climbed a mountain in Vietnam. I climbed a very dangerous mountain in Vietnam just a couple days ago. And then my other streamer friend, he was there, and then he caught somebody almost falling off that same mountain, and I could have slipped. I mean, I don't know. There's okay. a really bad answer to that question. No, that, I mean, yeah, a bad answer. Watching yeah. a near-death experience is like, no. But, well, but that didn't happen to me. It happened to my friend. Yeah, but you were there. I mean, stream. still. People, of course, saw the LSF clip of Keem. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Be careful. Be careful. Be careful. You okay? I, I, I wasn't. I was just on the spot. If I ever get interviewed, that is probably one of the go-to questions that they're going to ask me. And I want to have these answers on the back of my head, ready to go. Especially for 2023 streamer, IRL streamer of the year. And Hassan and Mr. Ludwig are saying, hey, Mr. Cook, what is what was your favorite IRL moment? I'm like, favorite moment? I got many, brother. And then the viewer question comes in. And the viewer question is something about... If you could uh, remaster any game from the early 2000s, uh, which one would it be? And why is it Tony Hawk Pro Skater 3? I should have said, dude, I'm an IRL streamer. I don't know anything about games. But I was just kind of so caught off guard again. Wrong answers. I'm going to kick you out. I remaster from the early 2000s. Can I just go with the original Red Dead Redemption? That is the correct answer. Thank congratulations. I finished my interview. I'm saying hi to Seer, Will. Having a conversation with Trisha, Akari, Woko, all these people were all just chitting and chatting. I sit down at my table next to us on the right are the Botez sisters. Next to me on the left, William Nefferson, Caroline, guy named, I think his name is Carl. Anyway, so the first, first few awards goes up and then IRL streamer of the year. I'm like, what the? They put it up front. Presenting the award for best IRL streamer is I'm Dante. First person. And fan, Joey Chaotic, Jaken Bacon Live, <laughs> Jenny TTY, and Extra Emily. And the winner is Jaken Bacon. And I'm just like, what? Jake's like, what? We're both just like, what? Jaken Bake Live. Yeah, no way! In that moment, it was f***ing 
dope, man. I was so happy for him. Like, Jake is just like, huh? Like, he did not think he was going to get it. Either. Like, look, the thing is, Jake was right. Everybody had a strong year. IRL was just really good. We put in the work, and then the world opened up, and man, IRL kind of exploded. Jake wins this award. I'm falling asleep because jet lag's kicking in. Charming Joe, killer show. I will say, I have been to many awards. They're usually boring as f maybe this was a little bit different because like this is my industry i know a lot of these people personally and it's just kind of fun so i had nothing to complain about i thought it was great it was fun except that i was not nominated <laughs> and i should have presented an award <laughs> afterwards you know people mingle and there's the after party so jake's feeling sick he's like yeah you know what i think i'm gonna go home i was with uh, gun run charming joe came to join us as well so we all went together we go in the uber to this house in the hills and i was like is this like some streamer house or some shit i don't know there's valet there all these uber suvs are pulling up there's a food truck outside and i was like this is freaking dope so we're going inside i will go inside every walk into the backyard there's a pool and I'm like, who's here who's here i don't know i get to the bar i get my drinks i don't think we were even there for one hour at this point it's very fast and then these two Asian girls, they get on the table and they go, can everyone shut the f up and listen, if someone doesn't remove from this party, then we're shutting this down. I'm not telling you the details of what happened. You can hear details in all these podcasts and all that stuff. What I'll say is this. Everyone was pissed that this whole party was shut down. And allegedly the party was actually a $90,000 party. And it only lasted one hour everyone's just stressed out this group tries to go to this club other people are at that same club some people can't even get in i'm just like what the f am i doing i'm 39 years old this feels like a high school kids party and i'm like you know what it's three three in the morning i'm fucking tired i gotta go okay i gotta fucking go so that is my streamer awards night i think the streamer awards was awesome the fact that I was even considered to come, that's crazy. That's awesome. I just feel bad that the party didn't turn out the way that it did. But you know what? Everyone's young. Everyone's human. People will pick up and bounce back. And it's not a big deal. Anyways, I'm going to be 2023 IRL Fame of the Year. I don't care who else is going up for it, okay? <laughs> I've already won. I've Ooh. already won. Okay? I've already won. <laughs> Okay, suit number two. This is a nice Armani suit, okay? This one, I remember it fitting me the best. I almost look like Tom Cruise from that movie, that taxi movie. Only problem, uh, I split it in the ass. But it's okay, it's okay, I can fix it. I can fix it as long as this fits me, right? Okay, so first stop, pants. <gasps> <gasps> Mm-hmm.